an update now on the ongoing battle at the Wyatt Detention Facility over its decision to house undocumented immigrants. And tonight the board met and once again was greeted by protesters who are demanding change from the private prison. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien was at tonight's meeting. She joins us now live from Central Falls with the latest. Molly. Good evening. Well, board members tonight made a statement saying that they heard the public and acknowledged that they need some more time before voting on a forbearance agreement. Protesters tonight had their own agenda. We have obligations to the health and safety of our detainees. Monday's Wyatt Detention Center board meeting quickly turned into another public demonstration by Never Again Action, Alliance to Mobilize Our Resistance, and members of the Central Falls community. <laughs> Only one item on the agenda. We will not, I repeat, we will not be voting on the proposed forbearance agreement with UMB Bank tonight as we, the board, also have concerns that we need to have addressed. Protester Matthew Harvey says the board is just postponing the inevitable. Uh, right now, the place that ICE and around is here at the Wyatt. Uh, moving it under the control of a private corporation makes it harder for us to impact what's happening there and reduces public oversight. But he says their group will keep fighting to make an impact. Over the past several months, protesters have made it clear they do not want ICE detainees held at Wyatt or in Rhode Island. Private prisons are an abomination and mistake, and ICE collaboration in the state is an atrocity. The public stand has led to arrests and some violence. In July, 18 protesters were arrested outside of Wyatt. The Rhode Island Attorney General's office is investigating an incident from August when five people were hospitalized after a Wyatt detention officer allegedly drove through a group of protesters with a truck. Now, Never Again Action is calling for action from Governor Gina Raimondo. This should not be a tough call. Does she want to be a leader? Uh, against bigotry and violence and the dehumanization of our immigrant brothers and sisters. The open letter asked Governor Raimondo to end state and local collaboration with ICE in Rhode Island. So that letter also asked Governor Raimondo to close Wyatt. In the past, the governor has not supported closing the facility. In Central Falls, I'm Molly O'Brien, Eyewitness News.